This is a bigger farming speed run for Lords of the Fallen. I'm going to take a brand new character, get it leveled up to level 50 as quickly as possible to show you how to do it in case you want to do a new character, level it up. Or if you're stuck in the early game, want to see how to level up quickly. Or you just want to see fast ways to level up. All those things are covered in this video. So we're going to take the Orion Preacher. That's going to be the easiest for this. And then we're going to go ahead and hit play. It's going to ask for the, the name. I'll go ahead and confirm on that. And then we're going to start this thing up. So I'll start the timer and we'll go ahead and hit play here. So obviously, since it's a speed run, we're going to skip everything we can, every cutscene, every optional thing. But there are some things I'll grab that are optional just because I want this to be more of something that's like, say, educational. It's something that you can actually follow along with on your own or learn things from. So I do want to grab certain things like the quintessence, saintly quintessences, so you can upgrade your healing item. I don't want to have you miss those. I want you to be aware of where those are in case you missed them, at least for the ones that we will encounter during this run. So we're going to head through here. We're going to skip everything, hopefully not fall into the hole. And then we're going to head on. So we're going to skip all the enemies in here. We have no reason to fight any of these. Because they don't give very much XP. And uh, our main thing is they just don't give much XP. Compared to what we're going to be doing, they, they just do not give enough XP to be worth the time. So we're going to head over here. We're going to pull out the lantern. Slip through this. Head on through. We're going to go over here. Try not to get conked by this guy. All right. He didn't even try to swing that time. We're going to over here. Head into the umbral. We're going to go over here. We're going to grab from up here because there's an animation for it to fall for it to disappear. And we'll just wait for it if we just fall down immediately. Now, this area is actually where I did my first ever XP farm for this game. There was an XP farm we used to be able to do in this area for 215,000 vigor per, per hour. But it got patched out because they buffed the Reaper guy and now he has 20,000 HP. So we're going to head up here. We're going to grab this thing. This thing has your first saintly quintessence. So you definitely don't want to miss that. Definitely grab that. And then we're going to be on our way. We're going to go over here and drop down and wrap around. Now, we're actually about to encounter the first enemy we actually have to fight. And that's because there's a magic user up here. And if we don't kill him, he will knock us off of the ladder. So there's this ladder up here. If you try to just run right past that guy and go up the ladder, he'll hit you right about now. And then he'll knock you off the ladder and you'll have to climb back up. Or you wait till he casts his magic spell and then climb up. But at that point, I just go ahead and kill him. All right, we're going to grab this. Okay, I actually jumped forward. Whoops. There's an input thing where you have, to, you have to be moving left before you roll. You can't just be holding left and roll or else it'll go forwards. See, I didn't wait long enough, but that's whatever. It's not a big deal. All right, so we're going to go here. We're going to drop off right here. If we land on the left, we don't even take damage. Not that it matters if we take damage here, but it's fine. So now we have to get to the first boss fight. Now we do have to grab this vestige because we want to die to the Lightbringer or Light Reaper, whatever his name was, because uh, it's faster to do that. And uh, if we don't activate that vestige, it'll put us back at the very start of the game, which is a much longer run. So we definitely want to grab that. It's way faster. So I'm just going to go ahead and just beat on this guy and hopefully not get messed up too bad. Okay, I didn't realize he was doing his three swing combo. So I just want to go fast is the main thing here. Whoops, I, oh my god, I did not hit that many inputs. Alright, it's going okay. Alright, that is going really well now. Hopefully we can finish him here. Oh, we can just finish him right there. Alright, so now what we want to do is we want to go into the Umbral. And then we're going to wait to die. Now the reason we go into the Umbral... It's because if we don't, then when we die, it'll make us go into the Umbral by reviving us, and that'll just make this take longer. So I'm not going to fight the Light Reaper. Even if I was somehow able to beat him, which you can beat him, but even if I was somehow able to beat him, um, it would just take so damn long that it would not be worth it. I think the fastest I could reasonably beat him with this character would be, what, like five minutes if I was just insane at it or something? I mean, he just has a lot of HP for how little damage we do at this point in the game. All right, so we're going to head down. And now we're not even going to grab the Vigor because we only had like 50 of it. And that boss, sadly, that boss we killed literally doesn't give any Vigor. It's kind of weird. They should have made him give Vigor. All right, now we're going to do this area. Now, hopefully this doesn't <laughs> mess us up. I've had one before where it goes crazy. So what we want to do is knock him off this ledge. But I've had him get stuck on the ledge before and not go off. And you see there, he almost got stuck on the ledge. So you see what I mean? I'm going to pull that. I'm just going to grab this while I wait. Just because uh, I don't need it, but that's the map in case you need it. Map of Red Corpse. And then we're gonna head over here. There's a vestige on the right. Grab that vestige. I'm not going to grab it because I genuinely don't care about it for what we're doing. 
Also, there's items here. You obviously want to consider grabbing those if you're genuinely playing the game and not just trying to do some kind of speed run. You can also get out of the Umbral right there if you want to, which I'm not going to do. I don't need to do. We'll be done with this area before I hit 3x in the Umbral, and that's the only thing I'd even be concerned about in the Umbral because the Grim Reaper guy would be really hard to deal with at this point. So we're going to head up here. I'm going to do the old wraparound right here. I think there was something over there by that guy. I can't remember what it was. There's a vestige on the left there. We're going to ignore it. I just leaned the camera over there to show you which way I'm at. Uh, so you definitely want to grab that if you're going to go through here normally and organically. So right here is why we need to be in the umbral. This is water, but if you're in the umbral, then there's nothing here, which is what you're supposed to do to progress your game. I'm going to head up here, and now here's where we can get stuck or even killed. Uh, there's a guy right here, and he'll come running over to us and body block the hell out of us. Like that. Okay, so that could have gone worse because sometimes if he can actually potentially time that so perfectly that you can't dodge it he, he like there's sometimes his timing will be so good that it's the frame that you are vulnerable out of your iframe he's hitting you and you just can't do anything so luckily that went pretty well now here i could skip this but i'm not going to do it so we're going to talk to this guy to get a vestige Carry seed if, you if you're playing normally these. then you're going to want to get a vestige seed and plant it because if you die to pieta then you'll be able to respawn here it's going to be way better now I'm not going to die to her, or else I'll have to reset the run, because I don't want to die to Pieta and lose like two minutes, so I'm trying to show you guys how to do this fast. Uh, so if you're watching this, then I probably didn't die to Pieta, but let's go ahead and see how the fight goes. Hopefully I'll get a good fight and make it, hopefully it'll go fast. My biggest concern is going fast. I don't even care about taking damage at this point. We're just going to heal it back um, afterwards. I just want it to go fast. And unfortunately, I'm getting horrible frame rate in here right now. Which is going to make parries really, really hard. Yeah, this is crazy. I don't know what's going on. Both times I've come into this area recently, I have 20 FPS. I have no idea why. So we're going to try to beat her at 20 FPS. This is so, this is so hard to do at 20 FPS. I'm going to tell you right now. All right, so she's invincible during this. So there's no point even trying to attack her. I'm going to just blow up some of these swords while I wait. I don't can I even blow these swords up at 20 FPS? I feel like they're like way harder to run into at 20 FPS. I think if I run through them in between a frame, they don't blow up. All right, so now let's see if we can get a parry. Okay, parry is way harder at this frame rate. All right, so make sure she's done with her combo because she also has a four combo. We don't want her to do the four combo. All right, we're off to a good parry. Lots of damage. I wanted to swing at her, but I was afraid she was going to immediately swing, and if she did, I didn't want to do uh, anything. Alright, she's going to get some free damage while I wait. Alright, she's done. Just want to make sure. Alright, so she's going to back off. Oh, I messed up. Okay, I lived. I thought she was doing the thing with the that she had just done where she summons the two that sw sw uh, swipe across the battlefield but that was not what she did i could have died wow that was sketchy uh, i need to back off for a second okay okay so she's actually doing the attack this time i gotta get over in the right lane all right she's done I hope this will finish her. No, this won't finish her, will it? I don't need to get near. I'm going to throw some magic at her. There we go. We're done. All right. So that's how to beat Pieta at 20 FPS. That was awful. I don't know what's wrong with this area. I even tried restarting my game. Oh, maybe when I re maybe uh, my settings got changed. I might be on like super high quality or maybe there's no upscaling. I'm not sure. I should probably check here in a sec. Uh, okay. There's all the stuff. Well, okay. I, I can, I'm going to try to make it a little, I'm going to turn the quality down. I guess I don't know what's wrong with the game, but, uh, we'll do that during an area. There's an area where we can do some menuing. So we're going to head over here into, uh, I always forget the name of this place. Something with sky, sky rest bridge. All right. So we don't need to go to the vestige. Obviously you want to grab this vestige on your playthrough. Instead, what we want to do is we want to head right over to Pieta, the person we just killed, get through our dialogue as fast as we can. Weather contained within, should you bring them to me? So we have a saintly quintessence. We're going to go ahead and turn this in just because it'll make life easier. Um, and then once we do that, we can back out. Now I'm going to go to settings real fast and I'm going to turn this over to uh, performance and hope that I get lucky and that it just stops being awful. 
It's crazy. All right, so now we're going to move on. So that was the first bit of the game. That went pretty well. So now we're going to run over to the next boss, which is not very far along. And hopefully I can beat the boss first try, because that's kind of the goal of this thing. I need to be able to beat all the bosses first try that we've run into, at least at least the bosses we encounter. So uh, we're going to go up here. There's a person on the right. This person will give you a stick. I still don't know what the stick's for because I haven't beaten the game yet because I haven't had time. I've been so busy making videos, but there's a stick. So we're going to go over here. We're going to drop down on this guy's head because if we drop right in front of him, he'll do that cheesy thing where he just immediately stabs. So if I have to deal with him, I might as well just kill him. Now, I have some vigor, and I do want to spend it. So what we're going to do is we're going to spend it up ahead. So we see to get through here. Now, it's random each time which way these both position all these guys are in. So I'm zigzagging in case that magic user got me. So we're going to take the vestige of Chabui. Chabui and then we're going to rest just to get these enemies to de-aggro. And then we're going to upgrade the character. Just in case. It makes life a little bit easier if we upgrade right now. And we're going to upgrade our vitality up to four. Or up 14, I mean. Up, up by how many points? Three points. All right, once it's done with that, we're good to go. Okay. So that'll just make life a little bit easier. That'll just be a nice little quality thing. And then we're going to head up here. And we got to get through this area reasonably fast. So everything we do here, obviously, we're going as fast as we can. Even this, we want to run across this full speed. And head down here. And again, if you're just following along just for fun, then, uh, you know, you don't need to go as fast as physical possible every single thing. But that's what I'm going to do here. So, we're going to go over here. For, hopefully, it doesn't just immediately... Hopefully, I get a good cycle. It's, I don't know if you can just immediately attack, or she can immediately attack, but I assume she can. So, first stage is very easy. The kick doesn't really do damage. So you can parry. It's a little dicey, but you can do it. This is good. I get some damage into her stage too. Don't want to get hit by that. If I can help it. Alright, so... Um, I want to be careful here. Oh, what's the wrong thing? I want to cast magic at her. My only concern is I don't want her to lunge at me while I'm casting or else that kind of lunge, that's okay because I don't, I'm not worried about that kind of lunge. That kind of lunge while I'm, I'm casting could potentially get me killed. Like that. Okay, we're good. Alright, so the easiest way to kill her is with this, with the Orin Preacher is just to spam magic on stage two. Uh, I mean, obviously it'd be faster if I was better at fighting her, but I don't have a ton of practice. And I'm really not too concerned about it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get into the Umbral, which is good. We want to go ahead and get in the Umbral now. So right here is a Saintly Quintessence. Don't forget to miss... I uh, don't miss this. Now, I'm probably not going to end up turning that one in in this video because it only makes us heal more. It doesn't actually give us another, another heal. So I'm not really too worried about that. So we're going to do this. Also, I forgot to do a menuing earlier, so I need to do it now. We're going to put on the Sanctify. And we're going to need that long-term in where we're going. Now, these enemies, uh, I'm going to actually kill them. Because I just want to regen my HP real fast. Okay, that's enough. I don't even care to kill I just want to regen that missing HP, that withered HP. Because I don't want to accidentally get hit by something and lose half my HP. Not that it'd be the end of the world, but it would be an inconvenience. I'm also gonna pop a mana crystal because I don't plan on resting and I wanna get some mana back. So I need this guy to come to me some. And then I wanna try to get up, hopefully not get smacked. Ooh, okay, jeez. That guy can be really annoying. Uh, this guy can also be annoying. Okay, well. All right, this is, this hammer by the way, does a ton of damage extremely annoying to use though <laughs> it's unbelievably annoying to use because the way that it swings if you don't lock on to enemies you'll swing right past them like it's very very difficult to, to accurately hit enemies with this thing without locking on all right so we're gonna head over here hopefully i don't get killed by something because i'm missing a little bit of hp uh it'd probably be a good idea for me to heal i might do that here in a sec we're just gonna knock that guy off 
knock that guy off. I'm going to heal. All right, we're going to take this. Oh, this is like the worst timing. Um, okay, well, I didn't want to jump right then because it's a really risky jump if I do it right then. I do need to kill this guy. I need to kill all ranged enemies right now. Because, um... What we're going to be doing, if those ranged enemies are alive, they can be really annoying. We also want to kill this. This is a ranged enemy. Oh my god. See what I'm about the hammer? Okay, I just got a lock on. This is crazy. The hammer is so bad for hitting things without a lock. Alright, I just want to kill those guys because they're going to try to prevent from going up the ladder. Now, I don't know what is wrong with my game. There's actually something wrong with my game. It's actually at just 25 FPS in tons of places it shouldn't be. Alright. It's hard enough to hit the hammer when you're at 30 FPS. Even harder to hit with the hammer when you're at 25 FPS. All right, let's see if I can get that guy to charge at me. That would actually be really nice. Okay, I was supposed to dodge it, but the weak enemy got in my way, so this is just awful. So I need to clear out this entire area. Okay, so one head smash is going to kill me now. Um, I'm actually going... Oh, actually, I don't have enough mana, do I? Maybe I do. I'm going to pop one of these. Who would have guessed the head slammy guy was one of the most dangerous things in the run? It's not the boss that'll get you. It's the head slammy guy. I actually did lose a run to the head slammy guy, so I'm being overly careful. Alright, so we just need to clear out all this. Oh, my God. This hammer is so hard to hit with, man, I'm telling you. Okay, so now I just need to cast this. And then I'm going to head to this for a sec, make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay. All right, I'm just going to heal up real fast. I'm not in a huge hurry. All right, so... Take that. Slam that guy, knock him off. All right. That was not... Oh, well, there goes all my mana. That was great. I didn't, was not on my lantern. Whatever. It's a big, not a big deal. We'll get more mana crystals as we play here. So we're going to jump across here now. We're going to head up here. And then we're going to grab this. Now we're at 1.2x. So we got to hurry the hell up. Um, the Grim Reaper will be upon us soon. And I really want to be in position. So I'll, right now I'm kind of behind schedule. So I need to go super fast now, or else I can get potentially... Well, I mean, I could get screwed just because I'm, like, you know, not set up right. But uh, it will probably find... Please let this not be an enemy. Okay, if that was an enemy, it could be so annoying because they can block your path. All right, so this guy, I could have ran him off the ledge, but I didn't know he was going to run out immediately. He doesn't always run out immediately. So we're going to head over to this. We're going to activate this just in case I die. But also because I'm going to upgrade my vitality again. Just to make this a little bit easier. Alright. So doing that will not reset the... Uh, it will not reset the whatever. Okay, first off, I forgot there's these enemies up here. Which, it okay, it will literally not let me target that guy. So I'm going to have to just ignore him for a sec. Uh, the Grim Reaper is going to appear soon, which is really bad because I'm not in position. Here we go. Okay. And he's blocking for him. All right. Well, I got smacked for that, but whatever. I just had to kill that range thing, unfortunately. So we're going to head over here. We're going to push this ladder. Well, that's actually extremely annoying that he went down there like that. Um, this is going terribly. All right, well, the first Grim Reaper kill, um, I'm going to go over here. It's at 2x now, and I got to hurry the hell up because the first one, at least, I would like to skip. So we're going to see if we can skip the first one. Oh, God, I'm su the suspense. I mean, 2x, it's slower because I don't have the helmet on that makes it go faster. Oh, oh my God, I was just in time. Okay, Ooh, that was so close. Okay, so if you don't know what happened there, you can check out in the description of this video, I should have my AFK XP farm. 
and you can check out that video to see what happened here but there's our first grim reaper but that's not what we're going to be farming here that's just something that's a coincidence so the first one gives a stupid amount of vigor he gave like what, like ten thousand there or something and the grim reapers give less and less xp every time you kill them until eventually they only give a thousand five hundred so that's not going to be our main bread and butter in this farm uh, i'm also going to pop any i'm going to try to keep my mana up then i'm going to stay on the um healing item and now we're going to run right here but unfortunately um we do need to kill this guy just want to aggro him real fast all right i was hoping i get the easy kill and get him off the ledge but i was not so fortunate So the most annoying thing here is not actually the strong enemies, it's actually the weak enemies. Uh, the weak enemies can hit you and CC you. And they'll, if they CC you while you're fighting a big enemy, that can be a problem. Alright, so we got through all the hellish parts. Now I can just hit these enemies. God, these hitboxes are so bad for the mace. Hitbox is so bad. Alright, so this is what we want to see. These guys are great. Um, these enemies give a ton of XP. And in this area, very frequently, we can actually just knock them off the map, which speeds up the kill by an insane amount. Be careful not to get knocked off the map, though. Since we're in the Umbral, we don't get a reset if we die. All right. So now I'm finally set up. All the enemies are gone. Okay, that was great. I kicked him and he went sideways. When I'm over here, I'm kind of afraid to swing. Because uh, I don't want to get knocked off on accident. So I'm always very careful when I'm out on this little peninsula. So we're going to go up to the bell. We're going to put this down. And then I'm going to go back to the lamp. Alright, so now we're set... We just want to keep our HP up as much as we can with whatever resources we have. That was the most convenient kill. That was exactly what I wanted. Uh, so the Grim Reaper, he'll be back soon. So we got to be very careful. Um, when he comes back, we should have time to react because that's just the way he works. But he should be back any second now. And when he comes back, we're going to have to unfortunately deal with him. Here he is. Well, speak of the Grim Reaper. There he is. All right, so now we're going to jump across here. Now, hopefully this goes well. It's possible to die here, and if it does, if that happens, that's going to be absolutely terrible. Um, and not like that. That's the easy part. If he teleports up here, then I just die. So he can do a thing where he teleport. He goes under the ground and immediately comes up with a spinning attack. And if he does that, I just die. But now I'm in position, and now what I do is I go over here and get on the edge right here, and then look away. And hopefully I can get him. Okay, this is taking too long, so we're going to do the backup strat. So sometimes you can go there and he'll just go off. But he doesn't want to go off this time, so we're going to pull this. And as soon as we pull this, then his, um, like, pathing or whatever. There's a phrase for it in Unreal Engine. I don't know if they use Unreal Engine. They use Unreal Engine in this game. Um, oh, what the hell is it called? There's, like, the area they're allowed to, the AI is allowed to walk. The navigation mesh. That was, or the navigation mesh bounds volume or something. Something like, I can't remember what it's called offhand. Um, oh my god, I almost got blocked for my, um jump that would have been bad uh but yeah so his navigation mesh it's like it can't find a path so then it just thinks that i can go anywhere at once and then it just like goes for me god it is so hard to hit if you don't lock on dude. it is crazy um and so then he just thinks uh, you know i'm in sky so he can go anywhere or something it breaks his navigation mesh and then he uh just goes for me All right, that was weird. I'm like 90% sure that I pressed the button in time, but whatever. Uh, we're going to use our last mana crystal here. I'm going to try to save my stuff. Wow, that could have gone really poorly. Okay. I'm trying to be conservative here with stuff because uh, I don't I don't have any um, Brio stones. So, like, I don't mind losing the weak health because I can get it back from hitting... I don't mind getting withered health, I mean. Because I can get it back from hitting the smaller enemies. I just don't want to actually lose the health. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. So I don't know if this looks easy, but I can tell you right now, it's a pain in the ass to do what I'm doing here. Okay, so they're, st they're dropping large mana stones. So I want to go down here and I want to put those... Oh, they're already on. Okay, good. We want to make sure we have those large mana stones because those are the renewable resource that we're going to be getting during this. That thanks to the heal that we got, and that's the reason we played as the Orion Preacher. Thanks to that heal we got that we can already use as the Orion Preacher. Uh, it makes it so we can sustain forever. All right, now the best case scenario when you fight these things is they're alone. It's always annoying. Oh my god. It's always annoying when you're trying to fight them and there's tons of weak enemies just beating up, beating you up. Oh, I almost jumped off the map. Did you see how close that was? Well, a lock-on can get you screwed when you're fighting enemies because if they twist a certain way right as you jump, it can change the angle of your uh, roll. And then it can cause you to roll off the map. And I've done that plenty of times in this game. Okay, so I have trouble locking on. Sometimes it does not want to let you lock on. Alright, so I need to go out here now, so... Knock that guy off. And grab that. So now the rhythm is go out to that peninsula, come over here, and do a loop around here. And there's the Reaper again. Alright, time to deal with the Reaper again. Hopefully we don't die to him. Okay, so here's kind of the scary part, because the way he teleports in right here, and then he needs to roam around for a second. Oh my god, I almost messed that up. That'll kill me with how little HP I have. Now we need to make sure he comes over here. Now hopefully he doesn't teleport up here and kill me. Like I said, he can just come up and kill me. Um, I've never actually had him do it here, but in theory he absolutely can do it. So we're going to soul fray this. And then that should make him just jump off the map. And then we're going to head back we're going to repeat this again. Alright, just to be safe, I'm going to do this. I don't want to go running all the way up to the edge. I do want his, um... Umbral Scourings, even though I'm probably never going to play a save again, but it just feels fun to get them. So again, like I said, you want to deal with the weak enemies first. Because uh, they're actually more dangerous than the Moth, if you know how to fight the Moth. Okay, I said that, and then I immediately get stabbed. And he almost threw me off the map, which could have been absolutely insanely bad. So now, um, all right, so we're in an awkward spot now because I really don't want to use my heal. I really want to save it. So we're going to wait and then use this. And then I'm just going to wait and heal up. I'd rather be safe than sorry. We don't want to, because if we die, it's a five minute wait or something to get back to three X. And I, that's not something we want to do in a speed run. So... So that was all my fault. I was just lazy and sloppy. Oh, I almost couldn't do it because I was out of stamina. All right, so there's that. So the moth is really the most... That's As funny as it is, the moth is the dangerous enemy. The Grim Reaper is surprisingly not that dangerous. Also, because we're in 3x, even these little weak enemies give a ton of XP. I think they give over 100. The only thing that sucks about this, though, again, is just the, um, the mace that we use in this is uh, really, really bad. Oh, that is... That's also really bad. I didn't know that could happen, so... The moth enemy fell down to a lower level that, um, I can't kill it. It'll despawn eventually if I go far enough away. So that is really bad. Um, I've actually never had that happen ever. So we're just going to ignore it and see if it'll despawn after a minute. If I need to, I can run far away. I know if the Grim Reaper guy comes and I kill him again, me going that far away will make that moth reset. So that will work if I have to do it like that. Uh, I don't know if it, it might have already reset. I just don't feel like going over and checking. But now is, I guess, my chance to go over and check. Okay, so it already reset. 
but I don't have time to fight those. Time to head over to the Grim Reaper spot again. And then we got to wait here. Okay, I don't know what just hit me, but that could have been the death of me. All right, let's see. Is everything good? All right, everything looks, looks good. Hopefully it doesn't teleport up and kill me. All right, looking good. Hopefully this will keep working, which I don't know any reason why it wouldn't work. Just in case he doesn't do it. Um, if I come back over... All right, so sometimes this can happen. So we're just going to go back and forth. That worked. There we go. Okay. All righty. Going to head over here. Grab this. Get that vigor. You know how bad it's going to feel if I accidentally fall off the map right there? Definitely could happen. Are there any moths? No, no moths. The worst thing is I can't lock onto them until after they fully spawn in. And the mace is just so bad for hitting enemies when you're not locked on. Actually, come to think of it, there is another thing I can do. I can do that. And that might be a little bit better. Oh, I missed. Uh, but yeah, the mace is going to be your biggest enemy in this uh, route if you're going to be doing this. So this is, as far as I'm aware, for the early game, at least so far. What we're doing right now is going to be the absolute fastest way to farm vigor. So doing this will get you something like 200,000 vigor per hour. This is something I posted about yesterday. And I just wanted to show you guys how easily we can get to this and just process this out. It's actually so easily uh, done. So doing this uh, will get you leveled up so fast. It's crazy. I just want to demonstrate for everyone just how easy it can be. So um, once you do this, you can get level 50. And then that point, the game's way easier. And you'll be able to... Uh, another good thing that's so good about this, the reason I think this is an important video to make, is that uh, if you want to try out a new build... Oh my god, I almost jumped off the map. If you want to try a new build, you know, it's like resetting stats is not something that's easy to do in normal game. So this is like a, a great way to, if you want to start a new character and build a, try a different build, you want to try using magic instead of melee or something like that. Uh, this is a great way to just ride out of the gate, you know, very, very quickly get a character that's leveled up and it's high enough level for you to try whatever build you want to try and get you set up for the game in a way where you can then quickly go and defeat all the bosses and get moving on your game. But this spot is insane. This is like top tier spot for early game. Now, as soon as something better is found, I'll definitely post about it. But for now, in the early game, this is as good as it's going to get. This might actually end up being the best farm you can ever do early game. Uh, but we'll see as time progresses. There will probably be a better one late game at some point that people will figure out. Or maybe I'll even figure out. We'll see with time. But this one is very nice. Now, some of the things in this video, um, some of the things in this farm, I did not figure out on my own like that reaper dying up on the ledge up there was from someone else i forget who already i credit it in the original afk farm video uh but the um the actual spot we're farming right here and the way we're farming it this is an adaptation that i've made now this ad adaptation was actually not in my good xp farm because uh i actually hadn't figured it out by that point so this is actually like brand new farming right here that you're seeing for the first time i've never done this before also that is some really unlucky cycle with the uh moth you know, it's not a single moth spawn that entire farm, which is very annoying because the moth is actually the bread and butter of this XP farm. And without the moth, we're going to, you know, it goes pretty slow. Because, like I said, the Grim Reaper, he slows down. So even if we kill him here, let's see how much it gives. It gives 53,000 right now. We have 53,000 right now. Oh, boy. This, here we go again. Hopefully he'll come over to us when we do this. Okay, well, he came over to us, but... All right, there we go. All right, so 53,000. Let's see how much he gives now. All right, so he gave 5,000. So it's still good, but you see that is dramatically less than the first time. So the main thing is we want the moths. I almost jumped off the map. All right. We definitely want the moths, though, because they give a ton of XP, and if we're really lucky, 
we can kill multiple moths by the time the next Grim Reaper spawns. Like, in a good cycle... In a good cycle, you can kill, like, five moths. And not only that, but the moths drop, um... They can drop Vestige Seeds. So if you didn't know this, this farm's actually insane for Vestige Seeds, which, if you didn't... If you haven't made it far in this game yet, you might not re realize that Vestige Seeds are insanely helpful because there's a ton of spots in this game where there's no... So the fast travels, the vestiges... The vestiges in this game are so few and far between that uh, it's really awful sometimes where you're trying to fight a boss and there's just no fast travel respawn nearby and after the respawn you have to run for like 8 minutes to get back to the boss. But there will instead be little spots where you can plant the vestige seed like we did earlier in the run. And the problem is the Vestige Seeds cost a lot of... Uh, you can buy them, actually, I think, from one of the vendors. But they cost a bunch of uh, Vigor. Okay, this is one I do not want to mess with, man. When he spawn, when that thing, when that moth spawns out there, that is a hell no moment. Because uh, I've had a glitch before when trying to test this. If you kill that damn moth while it's out, there's a chance that it will, like, project... It will shoot you forward... And if it does that, you go flying off the map. And I've had it happen before, and it was extremely annoying. So we definitely want to lure that moth over here. What the hell? It didn't attack. Oh, you see, I swapped up its attack. Yeah, the moths can be weird. They can randomly go for the one attack and then just go for the other. Um, but you see, there's a Vestige Seed. That's exactly what I was talking about. The Vestige Seeds are one of the best things about this farm. Because you actually will need those later on. Like I said, they're, they're the most handy thing to have later on. Uh, because it just, it just literally makes your game easier and more fun to have a bunch of Vestige Seeds. So, this thing is like, literally this XP speedrun that I'm doing. This is like the perfect setup for a game. So, like, if you do this and you actually start a new character, it like sets you up so perfectly for an actual playthrough of the game. So that's one thing that I actually love about this route that I'm doing here and everything about it. All right, Grim Reaper's back again. Damn the moth spawn. I really wanted to kill that moth, but I can't do it with the Grim Reaper on my ass because he'll one-shot me at this point. So I got to be careful. Now he should teleport over here. Here he comes. It never... It, I'm going to tell you, it's never not scary. This part right here, because he ha... Oh my god, he, oh, I was going to say he has to loop around before he comes down, and then he just didn't do that, so uh, I could have died there. That was insane. Hopefully he doesn't teleport up. I'm always scared he's going to teleport up. There's nothing stopping him from doing it, other than his AI doesn't understand the pathing here, so he usually doesn't. All right, now we're going to grab this. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't come again. Uh, I'm getting really unlucky with these cycles about how he does it, but he's in a good position now. If I do it right now, hopefully he'll go off. There we go. That's what we need. All right, let's see how much he's worth now. So, like I said, it's progressively less. So, 6,600. And they gave another about 4,000. I do not want to fight these guys on this ledge, man. Like... There we go. It's so stupid and dangerous to fight these guys here. Oh, wow. He didn't go off. Yeah, it's a shame that the Reaper popped up during the Moth, because the Moth is really nice. Oh, something else I should probably tell you about in case you do this farm on your normal game. I didn't think to tell this, so if you know, it's just thrown out here in the middle of the video somewhere. Um, the enemies that spawn can be different of how, depending on how far you've gone through the game. So, okay, I don't know what's going on with that guy. I'm going to leave him. I do not want to accidentally fall off trying to hit him. Uh, but yeah, so, as you progress through the game, there are these, instead of the red Grim Reaper, there'll be a black Grim Reaper, like we're in a black robe. And he, uh, is way weaker than the other Grim Reaper, but still unbelievably dangerous, depending on how you fight him. Okay, that was totally obnoxious. Oh, that worked out perfectly. Um, and I'm assuming there's other ones later, too. I just haven't been, had time to actually beat the game yet. But I'm assuming there's other ones as well. 
And uh, that can change this up. It can make it harder, but also can make it more rewarding because the Grim Re the, the Black Grim Reaper gives, I think, like a thousand um, vigor at, at this 3x multiplier. So that's like a good. That's a good uh, reward, basically. I'm terrified to grab this. But the large mana stone clusters are worth grabbing. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so like it's it's more annoying. But the reward is higher. So uh, it's definitely it definitely can be very nice. Uh, if you're trying to go as fast as possible. Man, I cannot lock onto this thing. There we go. But if you're trying to go as fast as possible, then obviously you'll want them just because if you get really good at fighting them, then if you get really good at fighting the Black Grim Reapers, then it's just more XP uh, per hour. But if you know, but until you get good at fighting them, it's not going to be as good because you know obviously it's harder to kill them. But again, like there's nothing stopping you from getting them killed really fast, like as fast as I'm killing these moths. And also, if you do this at a higher level with better weapons, like if you have way stronger weapons or a better build, then uh, it's going to go even faster, right? Because you'll just kill everything so much faster. So there's a lot of variance to it. I actually wonder, though, if you come back at this, come back to do this at a higher level, it might actually cap out at 300,000 vigor per hour instead of uh, 200,000. Oh, God. Okay. Well, that's really bad. There's actually a ranged enemy right now, which could totally screw us up. Hopefully that ranged enemy doesn't blast us. Okay, I just want to wait to get it for him to get in position. Hopefully he doesn't kill us. So the Grim Reaper, even though like I you know, it goes fairly consistently. Wait, he's go off. Okay. Sometimes he, he can go off without you even moving that thing. It's just it's safer to move the thing, like it was more consistent if you move that thing. But you don't necessarily have to, you know what I mean? Like uh, it's just, it's scary to sit there that close to him because he's like, you're within range of him. So it's like, I kind of want to get away from him as fast as I can. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a lot of ifs and what's about that. But, um, man, if only we get more moths this one, moths are really the thing. Like when we get a good cycle with the moths and it's just, uh, when we get a cycle with the moths and we're able to just spawn one, like three or four or five every cycle, that's when this thing is really nice. Uh, I wonder, there's probably ways to manipulate these statues by, like, waiting and then going or something like that. But, uh, I have never been... I have yet to be able to learn a consistent way to manipulate them. I just know that if the little ghostly statues... Oh, <gasps> no! All right, well... We were doing good, but then we accidentally jumped off. That's really unfortunate. So, that's why we want to be... Ex that's why, up until now, you saw I was being extremely careful... Because that's why I don't want something like that to happen. It's so easy on this game to accidentally jump off the map like that. So that's super annoying. But I guess it's good that it happened one time because then I can just show you how to reset this. So we do get a chance now. It's actually good that that happened because I could, you know, show you guys what happens if that happens. So if that happens, we're just going to reset the whole area. I do not want to lose that vigor, obviously. So we're going to try to not die here. Uh, my main, your main goal, if you die, is to get your vigor back first, and then deal with everything else afterwards. So in my case, I died down here. I need to go down here anyway. Uh, I have to be careful because it's right by the edge, and there's the spiky head guy, and I don't have a lot of health, so I could just die. But we're okay. So now we need to knock this guy off. I'm gonna ignore the little guys for a moment. And then I'm going to probably not... Okay, he just... So he can randomly just double swing like that, and it's super annoying. Uh, I want to deal with them, but I also want to deal with the ranged ones, so... And I'm off the map again. I'm not off the map. Saved. So you can also see immediately, as soon as uh, things go wrong, it's very easy to start messing everything up. But whatever, I actually needed to go down here, so this is fine. That was pure luck, though, I'll be honest with you. But, uh, it worked out perfectly for a speedrun. I could not have asked for a better <laughs> situation to have happened right there than that was literally, like, amazing that I fell in that way. Uh, I mean, it, it could have been planned, 
but unfortunately it wasn't planned. So now we're going to kill this guy. And I think that takes care of all the ranged enemies. So, um, that one down there, I noticed I, there was one that was alive that was really low. Oh, there's one more ranged enemy. That's right, this guy. All right, there we go. Man, it is so... Okay. It is so hard to hit things with this damn mace. I'm telling you guys, it's so bad. All right, there we go. So now we got to just start killing things while we wait. I got to go finish off that spiky head guy. And then we're pretty much ready to go again. So, uh, looks like spiky head guy, uh, fell off the map. I guess he chased us somehow. So now we're at 1x killing these guys, which is not as great. But, um, they still spawn about the same density, maybe a little bit less dense. It's just that we get, you know, way less XP now until the, uh, multiplier goes back up. Now, there's a thing that can happen is you can, um, hold on, I'm going to use this. There's a thing that can happen, which is you can, um, I, I don't know how to, I think you have to kill the Grim Reaper guy without, th without him going off a ledge. So you have to actually, like, beat the Grim, the red Grim Reaper down, full to dead on your own. And, uh, in, like, an actual fair fight. And if you do that, he'll drop this, uh, this Umbral Eye. And you can put that Umbral Eye in your, uh, lantern. Like, socket it. And then it will make it so you glow red. And what that does is it makes these little guys scared of you, which is super nice. I have it on my main save. And, uh, that's super nice. And then it makes it so that the, um, you know how that multiplier at the top right is 1.1x? It, it makes that multiplier actually build up faster. At least I think it. I never tested it, but it sure as hell seems like it. So, um, so that's like a really nice thing to have whenever you're farming the Umbral area. If you have that on, like, because even though it makes the Grim Reaper come faster, it's just that all the little guys are like scared of you and won't attack you. And that's like the most convenient thing because then when you fight the moth or you fight the black grim reaper or any enemy uh these little guys like really the only job that these little guys have is to be a nuisance and just give you a light cc you know light crowd control and that's what gets you killed so that umbral eye that you, that you can sock it in is actually insane it's like so good for xp farms so if you were going to do this long term i'd recommend getting that by killing the grim reaper guy uh, fair and square. At least I think that's how to do it. That was how I got it before they buffed him. And, um, I haven't tested it since then because kill, I, you know, do, uh, killing the Grim Reaper guy on a brand new save, full to dead, that is, uh, that is not necessarily an easy thing to do. <laughs> that is like on a brand new save. That's like trying to beat the Light Reaper. You know what I mean? Like, and if you fight him long enough, you can eventually get used to his patterns. But the problem is even that like, okay, you can get used to the Grim Reaper's patterns and then win the fight with him. But the bigger problem with him is these little guys will spawn while you're fighting him. And that's actually what the bigger problem is. And so when you get all these little guys spawning on you while you're trying to fight him, they'll just constantly be a nuisance. And it's just horrible. And they'll like CC you right before he swings or something. And then you can get screwed. So this spot though, I do want to reiterate, this spot is so good just because so many enemies, you can just knock them off the map. And that saves so much time on killing them. Especially when you can knock one of the moth enemies off. It's just crazy when you can knock one of the moth enemies off. Because normally, at least at this level, you know, it takes like 20 seconds to kill one or something. So, uh, being able to knock one off saves so much time. Alright, so the Red Grim Reaper is going to spawn in the next 30 seconds. So, I'm just going to mentally prepare myself for this now. I'm not really going to prep for him coming. We're just going to do it the normal way. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill the moth thing before he appears though, unfortunately. Which is unfortunate, because this moth thing's almost dead already. Okay, I'm dead. I'm not dead, but I should have been dead, because the greed was unbelievable. I was like, I was out of stamina, but I wanted to kill the, um... I wanted to kill it. Oh god, I don't know why I'm just I'm just off off kilter now or whatever you want to call it. And I can't heal. I mean I can, but there's no point. I might as well just wait it out. Oh god, he's stuck. If we if, okay, thank we I was say if he gets stuck, then he will teleport up to us and I'll have to deal with him a second time. Which can be terrifying. So 
that could have gone so much worse. All right, well, we survived it. Uh, but yeah, I was greedy, and I wanted to kill the moth thing, but I was out of stamina. And my brain kind of was just like, screw it, I'm just going to keep swinging without thinking. And, uh... Okay, um... He is at some point going to teleport up to here. And I'm going to get on the edge. Or that. Let's see if he stays up. Oh, thank God. Okay. If we get on the edge right there, then he can, um... He can fall off. Okay, I could have died to that moth just now if it had attacked me with a different thing. I better heal it before it hits me with something on accident from far away. And then I'm going to use this before I re-engage and just heal up the fool real fast. That's the reason we get the, we get these mana stones, mana clusters. And so we'd be an idiot to not, we'd be a stupid not to use them. All right, so unfortunately that moth despawned. I actually wanted to kill that, but whatever. So now we're back on the grind. So we're, we got set up again. Um, unfortunately, I almost jumped off the map again. I gotta be careful, man. That's what I'm talking about. You can go off the map so easy. Uh, just as easy as they can go off, we can go off. Uh, but yeah, so if I hadn't done that, though... Oh my god, that could have thrown me off the map. If I hadn't done that, though, we might almost be done right now. But it's fine. It was, it was good for learning what you do. If you fall off like that. Oh my god, I'm still alive. Holy crap. All right, so that's why you want to be abundantly careful. The amount of luck that's happened so far is insane. I should be dead a million times over. I was thinking about that as soon as I started climbing the ladder. Uh, I better heal first. All right. Well, I'm definitely not stressed out at all over that. Uh, that was so stupid. Oh, my God. All right, I'm like, okay, I'm going to do the speed run. I'm not going to mess it up. We're going to do everything right. Gonna get a perfect run, and then I mess up like three times and got lucky on two of them. But hey, you know what? Luck or not, we'll take it. I mean, the only reason that it was even really an issue is because I'm trying to go fast because it's a speed run. Like if I was doing this normally, I would just be a little. I'd be much more cautious. Uh, on the bright side, that moth fell off, so that's nice. Uh, it's just dangerous as hell to fight the moth out there. Like, I, I don't recommend, honestly, fighting the moth on that platform. I really don't want to mess up another moth fight. All right, there we go. Moth's dead. Uh, they also, by the way, drop Umbral Vertebrae, which are very nice. They'll actually recharge your Soul Fray, Soul Flay over time, and that could be potentially useful for some things. Uh, I have video ideas for certain XP farms and things where that came in handy, but I have yet to actually get one that's really worth it over this one. I mean, this one's just so good that there are some tricks we can pull with Soul Flays to do things, but it doesn't really change. Oh, it doesn't make it way better than this. Uh, but there's potential. And if I find anything, I'll obviously post about that. But yeah, the Umbral Vertebrae are just a really cool item. Oh, well, here we go. Alright, time for the stressful part. Alright, it's always that stab that's just like the scariest thing ever. Alright, here we go. Wow, um, a ranged enemy is now aggroed extremely far away, and that is extremely dangerous. I cannot express to you enough how dangerous that is that that stupid thing is aggroed and is attacking me from... <gasps> Uh-oh. Okay, good. He went under, but he came back up. Is he gonna, is he gonna attack again? Okay, this is... We're gonna weird cycle. <gasps> oh! Oh my god, I almost fell off the map. Jeez, okay. Or if he stays right there, this pool ought to get him killed. Alright, this is... This is really weird. Um, Okay, he died. Alright, cool. That was one of the longest ones. That one, I was getting really scared that he was going to do something crazy. Um, hopefully that thing will either de-aggro or just stop shooting, but that is really obnoxious that that thing is firing at us. 
Uh, I actually wonder if I can kill it from here. Ah, uh, probably not. I can't lock on from that far. I mean, I could kill it potentially. I don't know if my range attack goes far enough. But even if it does, I'd have to do it with manual aiming, which from that far away would be extremely difficult in a game that doesn't have a crosshair. So, we're just going to continue on with business as usual here. We're getting close to the end point. So, I'm excited here. I cannot wait. This one's going really well. Obviously, it could have gone better. We could have gone without the one death and the two almost deaths. But, hey, it was good for learning. You guys can see what happens if things get messed up. How to, uh, you know, save it, basically. Also, it'd be nice if I could get more enemies to spawn. They don't seem to want to spawn right now. All right, good. We got the moth. Okay, well. All right, we do not want to have our back facing that ledge with a moth. After the moth death, I just feel like I need to be focused as I'm fighting the moth every time. And that could have been really scary. That angle is terrifying. I could have gone, I mean, I could have gone off the map, you know, technically it felt like, but uh, luckily it was fine. All right, so we're going to heal up. The reason I was being really scared there was because I was almost in kill range for the leg stab attack. And I did not want to get hit by a leg stab. So hopefully one of these moths will spawn. I definitely want to kill more moths. Perfect. Oh, God. I got to be so careful when they're on the edge like that. Like, it's an easy kill, but it's also an easy death when they're on the edge like that. So, the double-edged sword. It's nice, but it's also absolutely terrifying. Oh, whoops. That's not what I meant to do. I want to grab those. I don't want to get on the edge in order to get those. All right, more large mana stones. Now, I wonder... Uh, I wonder if we actually have enough um, vigor. I do not want to get near that. There we go. I actually wonder if we have enough Vigor to hit level 50 right now if we sold everything we have. But I really don't want to do it like that or I just have the Vigor straight, you know what I mean? So, now hopefully we don't die here because that would be really annoying. If I died here, I would go sell everything and see if it's enough. Oh, perfect. I don't even have to go. That saves some time. And take that umbral scouring in case I need to sell it. You notice the Grim Reaper that time? He gave us what was that? Like a thousand five hundred? So we're down to the minimum already. So now it's just back to this grind for a little bit. I was like, I do not like this position I'm in right now. It was terrifying. I almost double rolled backwards and I would have died if I did. So again, the double edged sword here of yes, I can knock them off the ledge, but also I can go off the ledge. Whoa, how'd that grab me? You guys will play that back at one point, that one fourth speed and tell me that I, that literally just grabbed me out of the air. Out of a roll, I mean. Oh. Oh, that could have been a bad choice, but hey, it worked out. Um, let's see. We got mana clusters. I'm going to use one just to make sure I'm good. Knock that guy off. Knock that guy off. All right. We're almost at the end, guys. We're right there. If I wouldn't have died, it would have been in one hour, but um, it's going to be just a teeny bit over an hour. Uh, we kill this moth, and we should be almost there. Oh, 
I really hope the Grim Reaper guy doesn't spawn until this moth's dead. Whenever I say Grim Reaper guy, all I can think of is the Overwatch memes of Reaper guy. But anyway, that's a whole different story. All right, we are right at the precipice, guys. I think if I sold everything I have, I'm, I'm like 90% sure that I would have enough. But we want to do it in just raw vigor. We've come this far. Let's just finish this thing off the right way. We are right there. All right, let's see. Oh, is this a real moth? This is a real moth. Perfect. Easy moth kill. All right, so the Grim Reaper should be coming any second now. I just want to pick up any vigor that's laying around. There it is. All right, let's head over here. Oh my God, that was really terrifying for some reason. All right, I think he's over here. All right, hopefully he'll cooperate with us one last time. All right, he's not one to go off, so we have to actually move this. There we go. All right, let's head back. All righty. Grab that umbral scouring. Oh, okay. You know, I was going to do one for the road, but never mind. You know what? We're going to kill this moth, though. And then we'll die, and then we'll we'll not be able to recover the vigor. <laughs> I'm calling it right now. All right, here we go. We're right at the end. I'm just going to kill this one to make 100% sure. Oh, okay. That was extremely greedy. Okay. Let's go ahead and spend the this vigor and let's see where we end up. Um, I actually got way too much vigor. So we definitely could have done a sub hour because I just realized that in this run, I spent 6,000 more than a different run that I did. And that was the difference between... Uh, I only need 112,000, I think. So yeah, we could have done sub hour, but whatever, it's fine. Um, so we're going to go in here and we're going to spend all this and see where it takes us. I'll put it all in the vitality. All right, so level 53... And there we go. Level 53, we're going to stop the timer. And it was an hour and two minutes. I'm just going to say in the title that it was level 50 in one hour because it basically was. I went way over and went to 53. Uh, but there we go. That was it. Now, I know it's a little tedious once we get to the grinding part of that, but that's it, man. Right from a new character, you can get to that grind starting at like 15 to 20 minutes. Do the grind for about 40 minutes, and you're already level 50. That fast, that easy. And it also kind of proves right there what I was saying. Uh, that farm gives about 200,000 vigor per hour. So like what I said in some of my other videos, that's that's still true. So that was it, guys. That was level 50. That's how to take a new character to level 50. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully that helps you out. If you're wondering how to level up fast, you just wanted something fun to watch. Hopefully that was fun. I thought I always think these XP farm speedruns are really fun because like normal speedruns are fun and all. But I always find them kind of boring. The XP ones are really fun to me because they're actually practical. There's like actually a use for it for most of you guys watching. Because you could actually learn something from it or do something yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it helps you out. Now you know how to go from level 1 to level 50 in one hour with a brand new character in Lords of the Fallen.